Welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to quickly and easily leverage trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on the OKX trading platform. First you can go down to the video description, click on the link and then you will get to exactly this page right here where you can create an account and if you use that link you will get $30 completely for free. To create an account simply enter your details right here and then you are ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. The first thing that we can do is to verify our account and enable two-factor authentication. To do that, we can go up here to our profile and then go to verification. As you can see, I only passed the level one, so we'll just have to click on verify right here, just like here, um, upload your idea documents to confirm your name, and then you will have a withdrawal limit in, in, within 24 hours of 200 Bitcoin, and I think that will be enough. Once you've done that, you can also use two-factor authentication if you go up here to security. And then as you can see, I use the Google Authenticator right here. So you can set it up right here and then you will have some additional security for your account. Once we're done with that, we are now ready to deposit funds to our account. And to do that, we just go up here to assets and then click on deposit. Then we will get to this page right here. We can select the currency we want to deposit. So if you go here, as you can see, there are many, many, many different currencies that you can deposit. So in this case, you can use, for example, US dollar tether or Bitcoin. Let's go for US dollar tether, for example, I use that. You can choose the network. Of course, the normal network would be the ERC20 network, but the fees are pretty high right here. So you can also use the Tron network, for example, which I did. So if you click on here and click on continue, confirm this, that this is only for US dollar tether, the address, click on OK. Actually, we can say don't show it again. Then you will get the address right here. You can copy it and send US dollar tether on the Tron network to this address in this case, because I use the um, TRC20 network. And um, you can of course do that with other currencies too. Right here, you can also choose to which um, account you want to do it to the funding account, which is just your spot wallet right here or to your trading account to use it to leverage trade. You can of course do that either here, but you can also do that later on. I will show you that in just a bit. Um, but you can do that, of course, for any other cryptocurrency too. Let's say we want to do it for Bitcoin. We can choose the network right here. We can also use, for example, the Lightning Network, but also just the normal Bitcoin network. Click on continue. Bitcoin only. This is the address. So you can send Bitcoin to this address and then you will have the balance on your account. You can, of course, always easily check your balances on your account. If you go to your assets and then click on my assets, then you will get this overview of all of your funds that you have on your account right here. Um, and yeah, this is just an overview. And what we can also do right here is transfer money from our funding account to our trading account. If we just go up here to transfer and then click on transfer, and then we can choose what currency we want. For example, uh, US dollar tether from our funding account to our trading account. We can of course also switch that, but let's say it, let's make it like that. Type in the amount. In this case, I've already transferred everything just say transfer all click on transfer and then you will transfer it just as i did as you can see down here from your funding account to your trading account and then you can use it to trade once you've deposited money and transferred it to your trading account we can now take a look at the trading platform to do that we will just go up here to trade and then click on margin trading so margin perpetual futures and options click on that and then you will get to this okx exchange uh, trading platform layout First, I'll give you a short overview of all the windows that you have right here. So this is just a price chart. As you can see, we have the order book right here. Here we can control all of our trades. Down here we can see all of our opened orders, our overall history, our open positions and our assets. But let's start off at the beginning and go into it more details. First of all, um, all these windows, you can move them around. If you grab it down here in the right bottom corner and drag and drop it like that, or you can grab here these three little lines right here and then you can move it around as you want. Drag and drop it just to another position. Of course, you can also change the layout completely of it right here. In my case, I just um, yeah positioned it like that. So for me, this layout is um, the most comfortable that I can use. And yeah, that just works for me. First of all, right here in the left top corner, we can choose the trading pair we want to trade. So in this case, I'm trading with US dollar tether that I deposited to my trading account. So in this case, I, I'm using the US dollar tether perpetuals. But um, you can see, as you can see, there are many different currencies that I can use. And um, you can, of course, if you deposit, for example, Bitcoin, you can, of course, also use the BTC USD trading pair, as you can see right here, BTC USD perpetuals. 
if you are if you have deposited Bitcoin, you can use this one. In my case, I deposit US dollar Tether, so I will use always the US dollar Tether perpetuals. But it doesn't really matter. It just depends on what you have deposited to your account. Um, so you can choose the, whichever trading pair you want. As you can see, there are so many different altcoins that you can also trade. Um, there are basically almost any uh, co coin you want to trade. You can leverage trade right here. In my case, let's just go for Bitcoin. So I will stick with Bitcoin USDT Perpetual. Click on that. So I have it selected and now I can trade the trading pair. Next to it, we have some information about the trading pair. And down here, we have the trading chart. We can, of course, change the time frame. So right now we are at hourly candles. We can, of course, switch that to daily candles as well. Uh, go to the five minute chart, for example. So you can just switch that around as you like. Um, you can, of course, also, if you click on tools, we can, for example, draw some trend lines right here. So that's possible too. Um, just some features that you have in the chart. Of course, if you click on it here and then click on this bin, you can delete it, of course, again. And yeah, these are just some tools. You can use some indicators as the MACD, for example, right here. If we click on it again, it will be disabled again. So these are just some basic like price chart functions that we can use right here. Right next to it, we have the order book. So here is just a normal order book and the trade history, as you can see. And right next to it, we also have, have it visually. So right here, that's the price where we are right now. Then we can see the order book, all the buying orders in the market down here and all the selling orders up here. Let's get to this part right here. Um, this is where we can see all of our open orders or order history, all of our open positions. If we have them, we will get into that in just a bit once we will open some positions. Um, here we can see our position history and of course our assets. So in this case, all, all the um, yeah, assets that you have on your trading account on OKX. So in my case, I only have US dollar tether transferred it to here and then I can see it's a little bit more than $100 right here in this uh, on this account, for example. And so I can see that all down here. Right here on the right side, this is the part where we can control all of our trades. Um, you can see your available balance here again. And with this little arrow, you can, again, if you haven't done it yet, you can transfer from your funding account to your trading account or, or the opposite. So you can do that here too. And yeah, this is just where we can control all of our trades and we will take a look at it right now. So the first thing we can control right here is our leverage in this top bar right here. So we can choose first of all here if we want to have an isolated or cross margin. Um, it doesn't really matter actually. It, it only depends on if you have like multiple positions in different trading pairs, um, then you can use cross because then your margin will be calculated throughout all your open positions. So if you have one in a loss and one in a profit, it will equal it out. Um, or you can use isolated, then it will be for each individual trading pair by itself. In my case, I will, I'm always using isolated. So you can also use just that. Right next to it, we can control our leverage. So as you can see, you can set a separate leverage for long and short positions. So you can go click right here. So you can add your long leverage that you want. For example, in this case, I have a 10x leverage. But if we go up here, you can see you can use an up to 125x leverage. And um, what's also pretty uh, nice to know is you can see what uh, maximum um, position size you can use. In my case, only with this small balance of $100, I can use with a 10x leverage a maximum of a 0 0.02 Bitcoin position size. If we go to, for example, 100x, of course, it's 10 times bigger from 10x to 100x. And in this case, it would be 0.24 Bitcoin, the max maximum position size. Um, yeah, in this case, I would stick to a smaller leverage. Of course, you can also type in an amount manually. For example, if I want to use a 7x leverage, that's no problem, of course, at all too. Um, let's just go for 10x in this in this case. And um, yeah, just click on confirm so we can set our leverage right here. Of course, you can do a different leverage for your so short positions if you want to do so. Um, but in this case, let's just go for a long position. Now we can choose if you want to open or close a position. So if you have some positions open, you can also close them over this control center right here. In this case, we want to open one. Now we can choose what type of position, uh, what type of um, order we want to use. If you want to use a limit order, you can set a certain price where you want your order to be triggered. But in this case, let's just go for market because as you can see right here, we can't enter a price because we are using, we are entering the market immediately at the current market price. Down here, we can set our position size. So how much uh, of our balance we want to use for this position. In this case, let's just go for like um, 100%. 
Um, and we can also set a take profit or stop loss if you want to do so. Um, but actually, I will show you how to do that in just a bit. So you can also do that if you have a position to open. Let's click on open long, click on confirm. And now we have a, um, a long position opened right here. As you can see at positions, there's a little one. So if you click on that, as you can see, now we have our position displayed right here. And let's take a look at all the information that we have right here. So first of all, as you can see right here, we can see how big the position is. In this case, it's 0.02 Bitcoin. Um, actually, we didn't use all of our, in this case, it's 0.02 Bitcoin. And um, if you go up here, we can also see how big the position is. As you can see right here on the right, we can see our margin. This is everything we use from our own capital. In this case, we didn't use everything like 100%, even though we did it because the balance right now is so small on this account, you can't uh, like open 0.002 or something like that. So that's why we used this straight number 0.02 Bitcoin. And this equals to in, in this case with this leverage of um, 484 US dollars. And as you can see, my other available margin is still $23. So I didn't use everything. So just uh, so you know, um, this is why also our total balance is 845 and not like 1000, which would be my $100 times 10, because I only used like $80. All right, um, right next to it here, we can see our average price where we entered the position. Down here, we can see our liquidation price. Um, in this case, it's $38,000. If we wouldn't have set a stop loss and our uh, position would go into the negative so much that all of our own capital that we have right here, these $84 would be completely gone. Then the position would be closed at this price and we would have lost everything that we've put into this trade. But of course we can set a stop loss and take profit. And we can do that if we just click on this button right here, we can say we want to put a stop loss, uh, take profit for example, at let's say $44,000. Um, and we want to close everything 100%. This would leave us, we can also see that right here with a profit of $35,000, uh, $35. This would leave us with a profit of $35. We can also put a stop loss. Let's say we want one at $41,800. And this would uh, mean a loss of eight, um, $8, around $8. Let's click on confirm. And, and if we change the time frame, let's say we go to the one hour chart. As you can see, this down here is our stop loss. And this right here is our take profit. All right, right next to it here, we can see our profit and loss. In this case, it's uh, $1.89 in profit, which is around 2.6%. Oh, now it's actually $2.20. We entered the market quite, timed it quite nicely. As you can see, let's go back to the one minute chart. Yeah, this is where we entered and right now it's here. Um, right next to it here on the right side, we can see our margin again. So how much of our own capital we have invested into this trade. Um, and yeah, that's basically all of it that we can use right here. Of course, if we, uh, we can also cancel these take profit, um, orders and stop loss and set some new ones if we want to do so, or only choose one of them. These are some options you can have. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. If you want to close your position and take the profit with you, you can of course do that right here on the right side. So in this case, we are now $2.38 in profit. So if you want to take that profit and close the position, you can go here and click on amount. And now we can choose how much percent we want. Of course, you could type it in manually too, but uh, you can, for example, go for 50%. But in this case, let's just go for 100%. We want to close all of it. And then let's take that profit and click on close and click on confirm. And now we've closed the position and taken the profit. Don't forget to create an account on the OKX exchange using the link from the video description to get the $30 completely for free. And if you have any questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.